For many, blackberries are a sign of summer. A D&D berry farm near Bro Bridge, now is the time to be picking this fresh summer treat. What started out as a hobby for Dwayne Myrick and his wife Debbie has turned to many rows of blackberries of different varieties. Watched a YouTube video about growing blackberries and said, that looks like fun. Uh, thought I was gonna plant 100. Uh, 100 kinda ended up being 800. The Myricks have been so successful in growing blackberries, they have turned their farm into a U-Pick operation, and the public has flocked to it. We thought we'd get maybe two or three, maybe five pickers a day. Um, the first morning we opened up, which was 8 a.m., at 7.30 there were 30 cars coming down the road. LSU Ag Center personnel are working with the Myricks on several aspects of blackberry production, such as weed control, diseases, and variety selection. Blackberries are relatively inexpensive to start, and they produce quickly. These plants cost about uh, about three fifty four dollars a piece, um, so it, you can easily, in some cases, pay for the initial cost of the plant. You know, in the in the first year that it's planted. Goche says you should get about a pound of fruit for every foot of blackberry bushes. After you pick them, post harvest care is essential to keeping them fresh. They start to deteriorate and, and lose their uh, flavor and, and, and nutritional quality fairly rapidly unless we uh, uh, cool them as soon as possible after harvest. Pika says every hour they go unchilled after picking means one less day of edible shelf life, making it a good idea to bring a container to begin the chilling process immediately after harvest. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.